Hi, welcome to the another video of academic series. Today we will talk about rough cut capacity planning. We will try to answer these questions. What is rough cut capacity planning? Why RCCP is required? What are the types of RCCP? How it can be done with Excel example? What are the benefit of it? And is rough cut capacity planning right for your business? Let's start. Capacity planning is the process of weighing supply against demand. Capacity planning is a higher level task that assess demand and help you understand how much work your team should be taking on over a given time period. Resource forecasting or demand planning are other terms that describe capacity planning. Goal of capacity planning is to figuring out the realistic capacity of the shop floor to meet the demand for product within a certain period to increase your profit and minimize your cost. If you are running a production line day to day, you are going to constantly run into problem or even completely stop production from unforeseen issues. That's why it's extremely important to work out on your rough cut capacity planning that will help you convert your master production schedule into production requirements for key resources such as direct labor and machine time. So what is rough cut capacity planning? Rough cut capacity planning is the process of verifying if you have sufficient capacity available to meet the requirements of your master production schedule across a specific period. In other terms, rough cut capacity planning is a long term technique that your marketing and production department will use to stabilize the capacity you have available and what is required so you can make changes to your production schedule or available capacity. Let's talk about the types of RCCP. Rough cut capacity planning can be done at two levels. First, routing based RCCP. Routing based RCCP evaluates required and available capacity in hours per week for each resource. This level of RCCP demonstrates your resource availability. The routing based RCCP calculated as resource capacity load ratio, which is the ratio of resource required capacity and resource available capacity. Second, rate based RCCP. Rate-based RCCP measures required and available capacity per week per production line. This level of RCCP demonstrates your production line capacity. The rate-based RCCP calculated as production line capacity load ratio, which is the ratio of production line required capacity and production line available capacity. So both of the way are addressing two different things. Routing-based talk about the resource availability and rate-based talk about production line capacity. Let us see how we can do the rough cut capacity planning with the Excel example. Hi, welcome to the example of RCCP which is rough cut capacity planning. Let us assume there is a factory and there is a demand of two products. One is t-shirt and another one is sweatshirt. The total demand is 1600 and the breakup of it is like 400, 450, 450 and 300 for the given quarters. Likewise, the sweatshirt has demand of 1500 and it has the breakup of 500, 300, 200 and 500. The quarterly factory available capacity is 2000, 1000, 3000 and 2000 respectively. Because there is a demand of 1600 and 1500 so the plant production per quarter is also 1600 and 1500 to match the demand because it is a level production so each quarter has been given a equal amount of production plan if you want to know what is level production strategy please let us know in the comment below we can create a separate video on it then we check what's the total production and demand difference if you check that the plant production is 400 and the product demand is also 400 so the difference is zero the same way the sweatshirt has 500 as a demand but the plant production is 375 so there is a difference of 125 likewise we can calculate the difference between the production and the demand for each quarter and for each product let us assume in this factory, we have two production line for t-shirt and three production line for sweatshirt. We can think in this way that to produce one shirt, we require two workload or to create 
one t-shirt it is going to consume two unit of capacity so if we calculate the workload so we can see the plant production is 400 multiply by by workload it will be 800 same way the sweatshirt plant production is 375 multiply by 3 will give you 1125 so the total workload will be the sum of it and the available capacity we have in this table so after calculating the workload we will be checking the delta whether we are above the workload as per our available capacity so we can see here in the quarter one we have positive 75 in quarter two we have negative 925 in quarter three it is positive 1075 and in quarter four it is positive 75 again so what does it show it show that in the quarter one three and four we are well above the demand it's only quarter two where we need to get more capacity we can get this capacity in terms of outsourcing or we can increase our shift timing if we are running only two shifts we can go to three shifts so these kind of decision can be made while doing rough cut capacity planning thank you now what are the benefit of using rough cut capacity planning first improved project management by doing rccp it will provide you understanding all your operational and outstanding job operations means you can improve your project management second better resource management better resource management knowing how much work is passing through a workstation can help you determine if too much or not enough workload are being processed which will allow you to adjust the capacity by changing the number of shifts changing the number of workstation in operation or passing operation onto a contract manufacturer third improved manufacturing lead time the transparency offered by rough cut capacity planning allow manufacturers to easily identify areas along their production line that are being overworked or are prone to other issues such as bottleneck in the production so now is rough cut capacity right for your business well it depends for any manufacturer who follows a make to stock workflow it's a match made in heaven as you can figure out the ideal quantity of finished good you should be producing but for make to order and bespoke manufacturing it's not so useful as your manufacturing is triggered as soon as customer has expressed interest rough cut capacity planning work better for manufacturers who have a standardized workflow because if you make customized goods, there is no way of knowing in advance what it is you will even be making. You can check out the aggregate planning video on i button which address this problem. Let us know about the video in your comment. Kindly subscribe the channel for more such information. Thank you.